outside. Thursdays it means we get to talk about medicine. Today we have Dr. Lucy Beth Nie uh, Nieves. Mm -hmm. I, you can hit me if you'd like. Uh, <laughs> she's here to talk about the month of, sub of September. The month, this month, September, National Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. She works out of the Zimmer Cancer Center at New Hanover mm -hmm. Regional Medical Center. One of the things we were talking about in the break, in the research that I've looked at, one of the things that jumped out to me was there's really no known cause for ovarian cancer. So one of the things I was asking the doctor in the break was, is family history mm -hmm. a background? And you said that is one of the indicators. Yeah, I think that that's why, um, because we don't know the cause yet, it's very important to continue supporting research so we can find why this is going on. But we know there's some risk factors, which include older age, uh, family history, as we talk about, um, women that have no children, and women that smoke, and women that have undergone any kind of fertility treatments. I know when, when you were talking about the age, one of the numbers that jumped out to me was, it, it seems to really target women once they hit that 60 year and older mark. Yeah, I think the average age for diagnosis has been established around 60, 61 years old, but young women still are at risk of um, being diagnosed and suffer from ovarian cancer. And while I, you know, I was reading the symptoms and the risk factors and things like that, it, the symptoms to me, and I hate generalizing something when it comes to cancer, but they just seem like almost everyday maladies. You have, you have this little soreness, just discomfort. I mean, is there anything that really, for a woman, if you're starting to feel something that would really kind of hammer home the fact that I think I really might have a problem? Well, there's um, four big symptoms that everybody complain about and they include bloating, um, patients have lack of appetite, they tend to have urinary symptoms and they can have pelvic or abdominal pain. And you're right, and women can feel this and it's nothing specific, but the key here is that it's an ongoing um, symptoms. They continue having them for weeks. And if that's, the, um, that's ha uh, what's going on, they need to talk with their doctor about it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's one of those things where even if you have that discomfort, I know this can probably be a reason that uh, diagnoses do come later, so mm -hmm. there's an advancement of that. And we always say here on the program that if you have any questions, don't email me, don't call me. You always want to go to your medical professional. Absolutely. They have the answers. Doctor, I appreciate the time this morning. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. We're back Thank with you, more too. after this.